not a gift to you alone. It is God's will that in this love, your love, this man might find within himself a greater sense of who he is meant to be. You are asked to see the good in this man, to accept him for who he is and who he shall become. In this way, God's purpose shall be accomplished in your relationship. And may this man, Daniel, find the kingdom of heaven through the love that you both will share. And so it is with you, Daniel, that although Gisela is God's gift to you, she is not a gift intended for you alone. You are asked by God to so love this woman that in your love, Gisela might find herself as God has created her. Beautiful, strong, brave, and true. <laughs> that the entire world might be blessed by the presence of a woman who shines so. May she relax in your arms as she has never relaxed before. May she know from this day forward that there is one on whom love she can depend on forever. You, that is, Daniel. May the both of you create with God a peace of heaven on earth. At this time, I would like to invite our first reader, Tony, Gisela's cousin, to come and read for us our first reading. <coughs> De la primera carta a Juan, exhortación a vivir en el amor. Dios es amor, queridos míos, amémonos los unos a los otros, y porque el amor procede de Dios, y el que ama ha nacido de Dios, y conoce a Dios. El que no ama no ha conocido a Dios, porque Dios no es amor. Así Dios nos manifestó su amor, envió a su Hijo único al mundo para que tuviéramos vida por medio de él. Y este amor no consiste en que nosotros hayamos amado a Dios sino en el que nos amó primero, y envió a su Hijo, como víctima propiciatoria por nuestros pecados. Queridos míos, si Dios nos amó tanto, también nosotros debemos amarnos los unos a los otros. Nadie ha visto nunca a Dios, si nos amamos los unos a los otros, Dios permanece en nosotros, y el amor de Dios ha llegado a su plenitud en nosotros. Es la palabra del Señor. Te alabamos, Señor. Señor. 